Hey guys, it's almost addicted here. I'm going to show you how to make your house better or how to design a better house in Minecraft. And uh, hopefully I'll give you the five tips and tricks on how to uh, maybe establish this just from pure vanilla stuff. And it's all going to be simple stuff that you could easily obtain in survival. Now I'm going to go with a base of maybe, hmm, let's see, let's go for an oak. So what I'm going to do is the main base of an oak and the rest of it in a spruce. I'll show you by just using this simple template that we can still actually make quite a good house. So we're going to start off, I'd say, do um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've got an odd number there. And then we're going to box it off by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 9. And then we go all the way across and fill this all in. Now this is going to be our main box. Now I think I'm going to make this higher than I would normally do it. So I'm going to go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine. Right. So we're going to box this all, all off. We'll box it off whole. Uh, yeah. Right, so I've got my skeleton of my box. I'm obviously going to put more boxes off this and I can kind of show you how you can kind of make it your own, you know. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to count one, two and maybe go one, two here. And then we've got another tiny box here. But what you can do is you can extend it a little bit more. And we'll do this maybe one, two, three, four, five. So we're still keeping with those odd numbers. And this is for when it comes to the roof. And when it comes to the roof, obviously, we want to keep with the odd numbers so it fits in with this roof. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to box this off as well. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit lower because what we're going to have is going to have a big roof there. And this one's going to be kind of like up like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to have it a little bit lower. But as you can see, it's just kind of under there. But I think it'll work quite well because it'll be like two little outhouses and we've got extra rooms in our house. Now, I'm going to box it off like this so we're keeping to the odd numbers. But what you can do is actually put it across like this because that wall is probably going to be filled in. We're going to do exactly the same with this one as we've done the other side. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our two boxes and it should come together quite nicely. So what we're going to do now, I think what I'm going to do is find the dead center here. Right, so we've got the dead center. And then we're going to go three down like this, another three down, and then we can put two at the side here. Now, what I'm going to do is put an extra box here, but what I'm thinking, we'll put an extra two at this side and two at this side. So we've got another box coming off here. So there's three up there, three up there, and I'm going to come out by five. So that we'll count that one as one, two, three, four, five. And we'll bring this across. Now what this is, this is like a centerpiece of your main focus. Now we can bring it up to the same level so we can actually work this in with the roof. Now I'm not going to do the front bit here because what I'm going to do for here, I'm going to take these out, put this up like this. I'm actually going to put a little archway in here. So I'm going to put a little archway there. And then at the top of this, I'm going to fill it all in like this. And then we could maybe put an extra one there. So we've got a tiny little archway there, but I still think it might look quite nice. Now, because this is a little bit higher, what I'm going to do when it comes to this, I'm going to actually go all the way around this top one and make this one a little bit higher. Okay, so as you can see, I've put that up a little bit more. Now, what I'm going to do for this roof, we're going to extend it like this. And then when it comes onto this big roof, we're going to come out. So we're basically overlapping by one. And uh, I'm going to speed this up so you can kind of see how the roof goes. Now we're going to overlap by one there and come out like this. And then at the back of the building, it's just going to be plain and simple. Like, um, let's see, actually, could we do it a little bit different? Now let's 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 do it straight like this. So this will go all the way across. And basically, what we're doing is going like this. That's going there. That's going there. And then this one is going to join up to that one, and it's going to have a peak. But at the same time, it's got to be blending into this roof. Now I'll show you real quickly and you'll see what I mean. And what I'm going to do is put these underneath so it accentuates that little kind of cone up there. Now, as you can see, we've got that roof and you can see how that roof blends into that roof. Now, if you would like, if you want to always add more detail, this is what I would do, right? So I could maybe have this and maybe do these odd this time. So maybe I would take out, say I wanted my roof, maybe something like I would have my roof maybe here. So get two dirt blocks. I'm going to actually turn this into this just like that. And then the same at this side as well. We might actually even do three, but I think something like this should work. I'll just show you how you can kind of make this work. Now at the side here, 
we can actually keep in with this sort of pattern design so we get two here at this side like that and then one replacing this one at the side and in fact sorry it's above it like one there one there at this side and then we can make other separate little roofs coming off from this you know so we're gonna put that down like that this one coming across like this this one would be across like that and then this across like this and they're just joining in the middle there now obviously you can make these kind of little things like that or you can bring them out a little bit more or you can turn them into actually full numbers so you can work with the odd numbers I'm just trying to show you how you can work full numbers with odd numbers something like this you know but obviously you don't have to do that sort of stuff that's kind of like little extra bits that you can add obviously if you made the roof bigger you could work with an odd number and it would look a little bit better so those are the sort of things that you can do just to make it look a little bit better but we're going to keep it nice and simple for everybody else who just wants a nice simple house but make it a little bit better so at the top here now I'm going to keep in with this sort of simple design that we've done already so I'm going to fill all this in at the top okay so we've got that now underneath here I'm going to fill this all in now maybe across here I'm going to leave it at the front there um, but we'll, we'll take a look I'll just speed it all up Yeah, so I'm going to do it up to this point and then maybe try something like this and bring this across but at the same time I kind of want to bring it down to this point here just something like that what we can do as well we can actually put the bottom on there but just bring this archway up like this so you can always experiment with it see what kind of works I kind of like that archway now here we're going to need some legs to obviously support this big structure because this big structure at the front would just look silly if it was hanging over like that without any support beams now at the back here I would probably will fill this all into here and we can always use these as little windows but at the same time this is where we can actually put our secondary supports that would be underneath here and it just makes the entrance look a little bit better and you can actually maybe put some stairs up here now what you can do is you can on the inside bring this round like this and we just fill all that in but then we can get some stairs across the front here that's how you get in and then you could maybe put some upside down stairs this way and you could get get some oak fence and put them at the side now if you would like and you want to wear uh, make it a little bit kind of fair uh, different bit more detail at the front you could do something like this turn them in like you did before get two fences at the front and you've just got the one walkway going through and um, underneath here you could do something like this you could maybe get the fences going underneath and if you wanted to add even more detail and um, it's entirely up to you though you could either use this just kind of block it all in it gives it a better front entrance sort of look let's have a look underneath here something like that something nice and simple you know and what you could do is you could do it in a different wood maybe you could try that out see if the different wood makes it look a little bit better now it's all trial and error experimentation now the top here I kind of like this but at the same time I kind of want to give it some sort of flower bed of some form so we can put this in and maybe put our trap doors across here and because we've got these up here what we can do is actually take it out on the roof here turn these into full blocks and then we can actually get this joining up but I would maybe do it in a different color because we're using quite a lot of oak what we can do is actually blend it up like this and obviously this bit of the roof at the top is a little bit different so we can actually bend it around like that and maybe make a design in it take some designs out patterns out and kind of work with some different shapes just see what kind of works for you but for now I think something like that we could even maybe maybe get away with maybe a half slab now this is when it comes into making the house your own and making your own design so you can play around with different shapes what you think might work maybe something in the middle here maybe something there at the top here you could take that out and have this as an extra window up there 
So there's so much you can actually do. You can actually turn these into logs going down there, but we're gonna keep it fairly simple just so we don't go full overboard. Now we're gonna work on the other roof. Now this other roof's gonna come up like this and we're gonna do exactly the same at the other side. So how we've done that roof, we're gonna do it exactly the same, making sure it overlaps and then obviously putting these underneath. So I'm gonna speed up for the both of them. It should be against this flat wall. So what we can do is where there is holes, we can actually just fill it in with the oak. So as you can see, we've done that so far, it's looking nice. Now maybe we could have like a window going across here and at the top here we can fill all this in. Now we can obviously make another roof, maybe something like this going over, or you could maybe extend it out and have a roof like this and turn it in. Or if you don't like that, you could have just a straight roof going across, maybe bringing it out a bit. And then this is where it can actually blend into the other building. And then we can use stuff like this, maybe this going across and this as a support beam. And maybe you have a support coming from here as well. And this going across. If you don't like those, you can just keep it like that. Have something like that on the outside. And then of course, I'm gonna put these in because I kind of think it just pulls it all together, makes it look nice. You can kind of thicken them up there. You can stick whatever windows you, in that you like. Um, maybe if you want the window like that, but more detail, or you want big windows, you can do that. You can maybe have a side window there that's maybe too high. And then this top bit, you could have like three high windows there. So you do exactly the same on the other side. Go like that, we've got our three high windows there. I'm probably gonna do the same here, where one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then just do this all the way across. Now, if you want, you can kind of blend it in so it kind of goes over this one as well. So it blends in with that one, but you don't have to do that. Um, let's get these support beams on. I'm probably going to do exactly the same on the other side for the back of the building. Um, but you can kind of keep it plain or do whatever you like. Like up here as well. You could maybe bosh out two windows there just to make it look a little bit different. If you wanted to add some maybe trap doors because they're like maybe shutters that it's got. And maybe you want shutters on each one. So these kind of like, that's how they open up. Just something traditional. You can add these stuff away. You can take them away. You can kind of do your own thing with them. Maybe if you wanted just a three window there and then put it across like that. So it's kind of different from the other side. You can do that as well. Um, there's just so many different things. Hopefully um, from this, you kind of get some inspiration and at the same time, you can use it as a full tutorial. Now at the side here, you can have other windows or maybe you just want kind of random gaps out where you've got like that sort of thing. You know, you can do your own thing with it and kind of experiment with different things that work. Now at the side here, you could probably replicate exactly the same. You could fill this in maybe, get this filled in. I'd probably replicate and do kind of some symmetric work when it comes to these sort of sides. So I'm gonna fill this all in. Right, so I've got that little bit down there I'm maybe gonna take something out like this and what you can do is maybe add another one of these or you can maybe just have the one or um, yeah, I'm gonna go for two and then I'm gonna bring this up here and then turn this into maybe half block like that. Turn that into a full, turn that across the top, turn down for what? And then that going all the way across here, maybe get some more detail in. This across here as well, we can do exactly the same as what we did with the other thing. You're just kind of adding to it and making it your own really. Um, let's get something like that. You could even have it wrapped around like this. So you could still use that, but at the same time, you can kind of go like this, maybe get these three, and then you don't have to use the trap doors. So that's another way that you could maybe adapt it so it looks quite nice. Get some bushes wrapped around that thing. And other things like you could take details out and add details in like, I don't know, something like this, you know, work around with it. Just kind of little tiny minute details that you can kind of take out. It doesn't affect the building too much, but it still looks quite cool. You got those little tiny gashes in it. Um, at the top here, you could maybe do another window. So I'm going to replicate the same on the other side but you could maybe do a window like this. Get that at the top, let's get this at the top as well and have just the one window right at the top there. Obviously you'd get your glass in it. Get your glass in there and it'd look 
a little bit better, maybe with a shutter on top, you know, looks quite nice. So I'm going to go around and at the back, I'm going to basically replicate the front where I go like this, but you can do your own thing again. You could have maybe two windows there and that there. Maybe you could have a back balcony as well. So you could maybe go across from at this point, you could use this point as like a surface area, bring that down one, two, and then use this as like a floor level. So then we can go across here like that. And then maybe you could have the back where you want a balcony going across. So you could have this going across here. You could maybe have a back balcony. So put these out by two, one, two and get some support beams, maybe put them out by three or something, keep with that odd number. You've got that as a back balcony, you could maybe bring this down a little bit more. You can obviously use different kind of slabs for this sort of thing. Um, so we've got that back balcony, you could maybe do this instead, so you'd have like little support beams, maybe use the support beams that we've used there and then do something like have stairs in between here so it's not as plain you've still got that little added extra detail i don't know why i'm putting those in fill this in get that all filled in like that and then we could maybe use these going around obviously for our back balcony just something like this you know maybe go up by one or two maybe one two and you can decide whether you want to use the oak or you want to use the spruce or any wood of your choice really. Um, so when it goes up over here, you can even get it where it extends onto the roof. So you could have it extended up there like this. So this would be another layer and it brings that roof down a little bit. Bring it into there maybe, Just something like this. That goes into there, that comes round like that. And then maybe at the top of here, maybe it looks a bit too plain. So you'd have that going up here. Maybe bring this up here to add a little bit more design into it. Maybe if you like, you could have something like this, you know, add a bit more skeleton to it. Now on the inside, you can put your doors however you'd like. Maybe you want them on the inside here and here. And maybe you just want a one doorway. Maybe you want a two doorway. You can fill all the rest of them in just like that. Obviously you can add little structure bits, you can put plant pots down there and stuff like that. Um, for the back here, you could do something simple like this, put this all the way across and then you could have for the back, you could have like individual little tiny windows like this and maybe a block there, block there and just get a shelf going across. Like that, you could have maybe these going up to the top here, to the top, maybe you just want it like that. So you could maybe get this going across. So much stuff you can kind of add to it. And then obviously once you add your windows and stuff, it looks quite nice. You can always keep walls plain if you don't want to put too many windows in, but it kind of just adds a little bit of structure to it. And then obviously these windows here, here and here, um, if you wanted to do maybe just like a full block going straight across there because you've got like a little windowsill for that and down here you've got this as well so you put this here maybe get your other thing with your trapdoors going across something like that get your windows in you can just experiment with different blocks like sometimes just putting those full blocks there it, it works better than putting the, the normal ones so yeah trial and error so we get this across get this on and then we've just got our windows and stuff so i'm going to quickly speed it up for replicating this side with the other side so there we have it we've got that in like that i've put a little tiny slab there and a little tiny slab there but we've got all our windows in now on here as well you can kind of break it through maybe have a walkway that you would have down here and maybe have the floor level up here maybe have some different kind of uh, ways to get up i would probably x this off above here so it kind of like works in so we've got that bit like that and that bit like this and then obviously the staircase would have to come down from something like here maybe the stairs come down from there or something like that and then this comes over here if you would like you could put like a little bit across here and then you just always add in the flowers and stuff for decoration so i'll do that a little bit later 
um, for the front doorway you can kind of experiment with what you kind of um, like maybe you just want the one doorway but you want like two windows at the side or something so just something like that maybe you could do the full block thing again across here just across the top there or you could keep it with what we've done at the top here keep it like that maybe you want a skeleton going like this and like this across the doorway you've got two sides there you can obviously fill these in and then you can stick your doors on um, but yeah something like that something a bit different hatched out you can obviously add some bushes around this place and then you could maybe start to work on a fence or something just kind of something like maybe two up and then you have this going round another two up this going round two up just kind of there uh, it doesn't need to be perfect something like this you know you can have two up in different areas you can have it all kind of there uh, you can even have it bending round and stuff get two up there so bring this all the way wrong uh, all the way wrong all the way round even you could even have something like this make it obscure where you have it up in different places maybe have it like that something you know probably for the middle one I'd keep something like that keep those here these round ones round this off obviously once you get some bush in you can round this off as well so if you don't like that you want it a bit more rounded so you could have it just bring it out like this you know kind of mess around with some shapes and once you've got let's bring it up here bring it up here bring it up here you know you can bring it up in different areas where they connect something like that and let's say if you don't like the roundness it's too squared you just kind of add your own little thing to it making a, a fence and um, let's see let's get something like this and then trim the fence around it obviously you can add some trees and stuff maybe you could add a little dog kennel or dog pen something for the chickens and kind of make it your own now for the trees I'm gonna obviously I'm just gonna keep it kind of simple I'm not gonna do it all the way around I'm gonna kind of give you a template that you can kind of use now at the back of the building you could maybe try somehow to grow a big tree let's get some bone meal let's get some bone meal out bone give a dog a bone man so we get our bone meal let's go for a big massive tree because I think that might look quite good right let's get this grow grow biggie grow there we go so we get we've got some big ones at the back here might look quite nice get these in as well see if they don't grow it doesn't matter and then we can bring some of this round here make it look because of this fence I think just kind of weaving it round the fence it makes it look quite good and it blends in quite well I do think now you can make stuff like a pond now ponds are completely random um, when they're in the wild they're quite um, all over the place so just mess it up kind of do it how you think you would see a pond like something like that maybe you want some walkways maybe you want it a bit thicker over here so that's too too thin you know something like this you know keep adding to it keep looking keep digging away and what really works for you so something like that as soon as we add some water in there it's gonna look fantastic so get some water and obviously we'd have some lily pads we could put more trees by the side of it as well uh, sugar cane that's my big thing I love sugar cane <laughs> for some reason I just think it's a brilliant filler um, and like stuff like this like just little tiny bushes at the side just kind of at the side of your maybe you want them dripping into your fence here at the side here just kind of randomize it go quite creative with it obviously um, you want it so it's not too messy but at the same time you can kind of add your own thing to it and you can use whatever bush you like some here maybe get some hay bales and stuff and then once you've got the sugar cane with it so we'll get our sugar cane out and then obviously we'll get our lily pads we can get some of um, the vines to come down the house and add a little bit extras now the sugar cane I think adds to it you can go overkill with it I think it still works to be honest by using quite a lot of them let's get them quite tall here something like that and then you could have maybe 
some more dirt in the middle where maybe you would have, I don't know, another bush growing or something. Right, the bush is growing in the middle. Let's get our lily pad out and get a couple around here. I think you can go a bit too much with the lily pads, but yeah, something like that. That's quite nice, nice and quaint. Now, obviously you can bring this round even if you just wanted something like this, you know? If you didn't want any fence on this bit, this is a bit more just kind of random it. Bring it round, something like this. Just bring it round to the house, you know? Maybe it blocked off there. And then just get some bone meal. Bone meal, bone. Get some of that bone meal. Just fill it all in, you know? You don't even have to work with the other fence. Maybe you could put some trees behind it. Maybe this was like just a broken up part. Maybe you want to put something like a jiggity jaggedy kind of pathway. And then you could have that in the cobblestone or something like that. Okay, so that's our main way to get into the building. You can kind of do random ones. Now, to make it kind of off path, now we'll need a shovel. So we'll get our shovels out. And I'll show you how we can kind of make it look even cooler. I'm going to keep those, actually. I don't want to throw them away. So we can get some of this broken path up. So it kind of leads round, like as if someone's walked around this area. Now, you can break all this off. You can even have holes in the ground, but I wouldn't suggest it. Do you know something like this? You can have the odd bits here and there to add more detail around the place. But kind of where you would think someone might walk. So someone might walk around these sort of areas. Might even come round this path. Round to the back. You know? And then around these paths, just so it kind of doesn't look as odd, we could get some, maybe some red bushes. Get some red bushes here and there just for a bit of detail. Just around the path sort of area. Just so we've got a structure to follow. And then what we do, we can get some even bigger plants, which is the large ferns to blend in with these ones. So it's kind of like, like this, you know? So it's highlighting that path that we've taken, but it's still, it doesn't look obvious. So we can get some around here. And then obviously if you want to add your flowers, I'm just gonna stick with the blue to be honest. Just some flowers in here. And here you can change obviously what the flowers look like. That going across there, we'll get some down there. We can do the, exactly the same at the back. But I think something like that, it really, really does look quite nice and makes your house look a lot better. Now around here you can obviously add trees going around there, but as you can see, it doesn't really look out of place with that path. That bit built up there, that going round there. You could maybe get some bushes. Obviously, once this is on the outside, I'll show you what I mean. When this is on the outside like this, that path kind of blends in with it. So it looks less out of place. And it just shows you, you can be quite experimental with what you do and how you build your builds, obviously, around here and stuff like that. You could keep that plain. But yeah, something like that. I think it looks quite good and then you can just add silly little bits and silly little blocks where um, you can maybe add these bits in here and stuff the odd bit there making the fence just a little bit different a bit more detail and um, but yeah there you go guys I hope you learned something from it I hope you made a nice lovely house with a nice little garden from it also but definitely slap that like button and comment something down below you can maybe put a little dog pen at the side I've actually got um a dog pen tutorial so you can check that out i'll put it down in the description so i'll catch you later guys have a lovely weekend and peace